Hey guys, it's Nicole. Um, I am getting ready to make some graham crackers, keto graham crackers. Um, it's a little time consuming. I shouldn't say that it's time consuming. When you make the graham crackers, the, the, the process is fine. It's no big deal, it just mix everything together. But it has to be refrigerated for quite some time or it's very unspreadable. So I'm gonna show it to you now how to make it, and then we will come back later and show you what they look like after they set in the fridge for a few hours. Okay, so let me show you what you're gonna need. Okay, you're gonna need, uh, uh, I'm gonna use my KitchenAid because you are gonna need to beat this, so, for quite some time. So by hand is probably not conducive with it. So you're gonna need your mixing bowl, <laughs> baking soda, not this 600 pound container that I have that I'll probably never go through. But baking soda, almond flour, salt, xanthan gum, cooking spray, golden erythritol. Um, and I do say you have to use the golden erythritol. The white doesn't work as well. But, you know, do you, if you like it. Cinnamon and some butter. We're going to use softened butter that partially is melting, but we're going to go with it. And then I was going to show you the plan. Can you guess? So before I started this channel, I think it was before I started this channel, I made homemade marshmallows because we did a movie night outside and everybody had s'mores and I wanted to try it. And so I made a uh, basket weave of bacon and I made homemade marshmallows and they were delicious and beautiful until I tried to roast them. And then the marshmallows disintegrated and it did not work. So I've been researching and researching and researching and I found these on Amazon, somebody recommended their one carb per marshmallow, and we're gonna try it, I haven't tried it yet. So when I wanna do s'mores, I have my chocolate marshmallow. This is the Bake Believe sugar-free. It's nine carbs total, five fiber, 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 and three erythritol. So that leaves it one net carb per tablespoon. So, I have those if I want to make my s'mores. So I'm, we're going to do the graham crackers right quick. So as you can see, I'm creaming my butter. It's really soft. It's I'm in Texas, and so it's hot here, so it's starting to melt. Um, so you are really, I know I said don't do it by hand because you want to incorporate a lot of air in this. So you're going to beat this butter. You're going to beat the crap out of it. So I would say probably medium speed for a good two to three minutes. So I'm gonna go do that and I'll be right back. Okay, so while our butter creams, let's get our dry ingredients ready. Um, I'm, we're gonna need two cups of almond flour. So let's get that in here. And I don't know about you, but I keep my almond flour in the freezer to keep it fresh longer because I don't use it all the time and it clumps, so you have to kind of break it up. See? It just freezes or something. Okay. Because it's in the freezer. Okay, so we've got our two cups of almond flour, and then next thing we're going to do is add a pinch of salt, about a quarter of a teaspoon. And I'm using the Himalayan pink salt a half a teaspoon of our xanthan gum. And that again is our, it's gonna kind of thicken things up a little bit. And then we're gonna use a half a teaspoon of baking soda out of our gigantic container. why I bought this. It was like $3 for this 13 pound container and I was like, oh, that's cheap. I bought it. And I'm like, what am I ever going to use it in? Sprinkle it on my carpet, I guess. Okay, so we have our almond flour, the xanthan gum, the salt, the baking soda, a teaspoon of cinnamon. Okay. We're, we're already doing our butter and then we're going to do our um, golden erythritol. Okay, so this you're going to need six tablespoons and that I'm going to do in a separate cup 
No, I'm not because it's not going to fit in that cup. All right, hold hold tight for the for the sweetener. Okay, there the butter is just about ready. See how creamy it looks. So turn it off, and then we're going to add six tablespoons, which I measured in a separate container, of um, the golden erythritol, and then we're going to mix that until it's all good and fluffy. And the golden erythritol almost dissolves. It's going to take a minute though. So get that back going, and then I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. But give it a couple of minutes, literally a couple of minutes. There you go, see? There's the golden erythritol just about ready. My dog's barking because my son's outside mowing the lawn and he wants she wants to go out. Okay. I think we're good. So one thing I didn't tell you that I should have is we widow. Shush. We need to add one egg. So I'm going to go crack that. I didn't put that in the list of ingredients. So I'm cracking that with one hand while I talk to y'all. And we're going to add that in. Just one egg. Now with this, you're going to barely mix it because, and it's going to look wonky. Just let's get it in there a little. And it's going to almost look like it, like it broke, like it didn't mix well. That's it out right there. See, it doesn't look good. But it will be. Okay, we got all of our dry. That's the cinnamon, the baking soda, the almond flour. We're going to add that into the egg and butter and sugar mixture. And then mix it all. So well incorporated. And that is it. Now that is it for the recipe. So I told you the recipe itself is not hard. But once this is done, it's going to be very loose, not loose, it's going to be sticky. And sticky and crumbly at the same time, if that makes any sense. And... There it goes. So then we're going to wrap it in saran wrap after this. And let it get really, really, really firm and cold. From the butter and everything in it, we'll... we'll it cold and um, then it'll be easier to work with and then we'll roll it out in between parchment paper and out of this batch which let me stop it so you can see it's not that much you're going to get 24 graham crackers um, that's the goal and I'll show you how big they are once we cut them because I'm going to actually wrap this and then we won't be back to see it for a few hours okay okay so we got it all mixed together See? So it's kind of wet. So we need to get it cooled off. So what you're going to do is you're going to get your plastic wrap. That is the bane of my existence. I hate this stuff. But this works for this. Okay. So, and you're going to just put it any old way in your Saran wrap. Okay. And then we're going to just wrap it up into a nice little ball. Okay. That's it. It's really, really soft, so you won't be able to work with it. So you're gonna wrap it like this and then put it in the fridge for, I would say an hour to two hours, up to 24 hours. So it's easy to work with, it'll be a, a harder dough. So I'm gonna put it in the fridge for a few hours probably. Um, I probably will make the rest of it, I will make the um, graham crackers tonight I think, but I'm gonna refrigerate it for a few hours. It's only 3.30 3 here, so I'm gonna try that. And then um, we'll work with it and I'll show you once it's cold. Okay, guys, we're back. We have our graham cracker crust, or graham cracker crust cookies. Um, that you eventually could use as a crust to make a pie, but it's the dough, and it has been in the fridge for about 12 hours. <laughs> I left it because we ended up watching a movie, so we're going to work on it today, this morning. Um, so I've got some parchment paper. 
and I'm going to open that, give it a good spray, and then we're going to just roll this out, and you want to get 24 cookies out of it. So, we're just going to roll it and see what this looks like. <clears throat> You're gonna roll it between both papers. Okay. Flat it some. Oh, now I can use my fingers. Once you warm it up a little bit, it will uh, spread easily. Right now it's a little hard. Okay. <laughs> okay, oh there it goes. Okay. So you're just gonna roll this out and you want it to be about as big as this square of parchment. Just my parchment comes pre cut, so it's already a certain size. Shouldn't stick. So you just roll, roll, roll. And again, it's gonna take a little bit of time. Not long, but you know, a little bit. So we're gonna roll this up, get it to the size of this, and then I'll be back to show you what it looks like. Okay, there you go. It took me probably three minutes or so to roll it out. I missed a little bit of edges, but it was getting too thin, so you could just push it back in. And it's starting to get warmed up, so we had to move, move a little quick, but it's starting to get warmed up, so it's starting to stick. So now you're going to take this, it's on the parchment already, cut it in half, and then out of each half, you're going to try to get 12 cookies. So I'm going to cut it in half, cut it in half again on each side. And then total 24 cookies. So you just keep cutting until you have your 24 cookies. So now I'll put it in half this way. And then that way. And then that way. And you go one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There we go. I'm actually getting 28. So mine are going to be a little smaller, but they weren't even if I didn't go one more. So there's 28 cookies, about three by three inches. So I'm not going to move them from here. I'm just going to put them on my pan and bake them on this because if you try to move them, they're going to fall apart. So I'm going to just grab my pan, transfer the Sill pat like this over. Let me show you. Transfer them. There we go. Onto my pan. And there we go. And I'm going to stick it in the oven for about 10 to 15 minutes. And you make sure they don't burn because they burn very easily. So 10 to 15 minutes and then I'll show you what they're like when they're done. At 350, sorry. So make sure you watch it. You see some parts are darker than others. But it really came out good. You can see the squares. You could put the little dots like a um, graham cracker has. But it, it came out really good. The texture's good. It's a little soft. But because it was starting to get dark, I took it out. So you let it set for until it's cool. And then you'll be able to see. I'll show you. See? It'll come up. But right now they're soft. So I'm going to let them harden. And then you can make your s'mores or anything else you want to make. So you got, well, I have 28 cookies. But see, like this one's not a full one. Good to go.